Hello and welcome to another Keyshot 9 animation tutorial. In this video we will talk about controlling and organizing the animation timeline. In the current scene, a variety of animations have been applied to both parts and cameras. All of the different animation nodes are visible in the timeline, with the default name of the part or camera plus the animation type visible. All of these nodes can be adjusted in real time by scaling or shifting them on the timeline. Here animations can also be toggled on and off using the checkbox associated with each animation. To sort animation nodes in Keyshot 9, simply right click on or below the animation tree or animation timeline, choose sort by and select the desired sorting preference. Playback controls are at the top left of the timeline window. They can be used to jump to the beginning or end of the animation, scrub through the animation one frame at a time, or play a preview in the real-time window. The animation preview can also be paused or played by pressing the shift key and the spacebar at the same time. Looping can be enabled or disabled by hitting the loop button in controller timeline settings using the gear icon. This is where we can choose our frames per second, and if the list doesn't have the desired value, then a custom value can be entered manually. Preview render quality settings can also be adjusted by increasing the seconds or max samples for each frame. The animation wizard is a quick way of adding in part, model, and camera animations with the step-by-step -step interface. The zoom slider on the top right controls the scale of the timeline, which can be adjusted as needed to see detail within the timeline. The blue flags control the working area. They can be used to define the playback area for animation. We can isolate a specific area, and when we hit play, this will be the area of our timeline that is played back in our real-time view. To add start and end time markers to the workspace, simply right-click the timeline ruler at the desired time and select Set Work Area Start or Set Work Area End to define the animation workspace. Here we can also scrub through the animation by dragging in the area above the animation nodes. This is a quick way of seeing the animation progress and the preview line shows us where we are in the timeline. Once more complex animations are created, keeping the timeline organized will be key to controlling all individual elements. We can drag individual animations to help group them. For example, here I'll move all the camera animations together for easy access. We can also add animation nodes into folders. I'll hold down shift to multi-select all these part animations, then right click and select add to folder. I can give that folder a name like parts moving out, and now all the nodes will be contained within a single directory. I can now move or scale the entire folder and its contents will be scaled proportionally. Condensing the folder also helps free up some space on the timeline. Now instead of manually mirroring each of the individual part animations, I can select the Parts Moving Out folder, right-click, and select Mirror. Now I will have a folder with all the mirrored part animations in it, which can be renamed Parts Moving In. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 animation timeline overview. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.